was a kind of wee boy that needed lots of things, but he he was quite inspired by it and calmed by it because the sport obviously had a really positive effect on him. So that really helped him be able to be in school more because we were looking to try and increase a timetable for him as a transition into secondary school. And he made a really good relationship with her. And she could identify with him because she was a local girl and this had been her school and she known kids like him all her life. So it was really, really useful. And um, I would say probably that's the biggest piece of impact I saw that particular year. So yeah, if there was someone there that could be the person that I knew if we needed a piece of work done or if we thought maybe we could even tap into something funded or otherwise we could ask if there was a certain person that we could link into yeah that would be great and we would know who it was and you build the relationship because it's all about the relationships and particularly in a community like ours it's all about the relationships Years with the Hills Week, um, the weightlifting club has um, been very, very kind and been involved. Whereby they've been taking groups of children to the gym when it was based in the Shotley's Community Centre, and between Chick, Georgie, and Sophie, the children got an experience of what weightlifting was like. And through feedback from the children, they found this a very, very, very beneficial experience, and it led to a few children becoming involved in the club. And speaking to the children after our Hills Week. They could see the benefits of doing exercise in whatever form it was um, and the benefits to them and their um, mental health and their physical health. Because in the area we don't have a lot of things for the children that can encourage their, their health and well-being. Yeah, because it keeps us out of the streets and keeps us out of trouble for children mm -hmm. about the streets. And there's adults there to supervise us. <laughs> The first time I came to the, the weightlifting club was I was hanging about the streets, come round the park fire exit to the gym and entered through there and that's where I met uh, Charles and he brought me in and, and gave me my first training session from there. My mum that brought me up more or less as a single parent and uh, trying to even fund going to competitions and that wasn't easy. So going to the weightlifting I've been all over the world, Australia, India, over Europe and that, so there are places that I would never have went if it wasn't for the weightlifting. Um, I feel like the experience I had in the weightlifting club and um, alongside uh, the other sports development officers and the young people's sport diversion team, I'd gained the experience to apply for a sports development job and I got it. Um, being part of the weightlifting club is more like being part of a family. Those relationships that I built through the club and the skills that I learned through coaching at the club, through training at the club, has really helped shape me as an individual, it's helped shape me in my work life, my personality and how I view things and um, my work ethic and how um, hard I work to get to where I am. We did this with Kamala Amateur Weightlifting Club. The benefits that it brought from a social point of view, that integration point of view, from the health and healthy lifestyle point of view as well. What we saw was that integration into the community absolutely happened. So much so that we ended up seeing one of the, the family members volunteering at a local project as well. Now, I have no hesitation in saying that that wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for the intervention of the weightlifting club because they, they increased the confidence of their family, increased the confidence of the two young boys that were coming along to, to participate and uh, the weightlifting programme and the projects that they had operating within the club.